There are more than 700 billionaires in the United States, and New Mexico finally has one of them. Forbes magazine just released its annual billionaire list, and for the first time, a full-time New Mexican made the cut. News 13's Brittany Bate has the story. Billionaire, millionaire, it's all about the zeros. It's all about the Benjamins. The richest person in New Mexico did not make his money, like most people would guess, off of liquid gold in the oil fields of southeast New Mexico. If it was in New Mexico, then yeah, probably natural resources, oil, gas, mining, something like that. Oil, oil, mining. The correct answer actually lies in a competing industry. As long as the sun is shining, Array will remain committed to the advancement and innovation of solar technology, maximizing every ray of sunshine. New Mexico's first billionaire on record is Ron Corio, the founder and former CEO of Albuquerque-based Array Technologies, which makes solar tracking systems. We've pioneered the tracker market for many years. Corio stepped down as CEO last October, three decades after launching the company with just $16,000 in startup money. Forbes reports Corio is now worth $1.1 billion. I guess it's true if you work hard enough and believe in something, good things happen. Before Corio rose to billionaire status, New Mexico was one of only seven states without a known billionaire. And now that there is one here who earned a lot of green, in the green energy biz. People hope he sets a good precedent. I would just say I wish him well and I hope he gives back. There's an old adage, you can't take it with you. Brittany Bade, KRQE News 13. As you might have guessed, the next wealthiest New Mexicans are oil men. Internet reports have both Mac Chase and Peyton Yates worth more than $700 million. They're both from Artesia.